Okay, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go. All right. The Red Alleyway. Over 20 years, I've walked these overgrown outdoor hallways. My pace refined, restful, like a grandfather clock cracking his soft knuckles. I think differently back here, where the fading songs of car radios settle like silt in backyards laid out like patches of a communal quilt. In the summer, the bleached wood planks of fences bulge with bamboo as the green bamboo leaves fall from the tall clacking stalks on the green plastic trash cans the government gives us. Easy, lazy mazes, these half-lidded vacations from the predatory metal and mines that make our people the fugitive kind. Snug from cars that crush the bones of kittens, thugs that mug you for your mittens. The days I've dallied among the cooling brick are kind to me like no others. No monitor in the hall, no clocks on the wall. So we make time. We make time for it all. We draw made-up maps on a Popeye's wall. We make time for the pixelated sunfall that oxidizes a rusted garage gate into a mer map of blue-green algae. Best appreciated in your 30s with a sweet lady in her late 20s and 240s for drink. The rickety row of red doors, the secret tulip patches, each yard a shoebox diorama. And man, to tour them at dinner time as the day declines and matronly voices loose through the heat and magnolia pollen, I let go my thoughts as some father let go of this mangled bike in the driveway. They unfurl around dappled corners as my eye promenades hand in hand with the shade of brick that was like a father to me. He left us come winter, but always returned in the thaw. The time it takes to walk my favorite, roughly equivalent to the lifespan of an infant cloud. Here, the little tramp sleeps snug in sheets of fine July rain. Joseph Cornell baptizes the garbage with piping arcs of piss. The lone yellow galosh, waterlogged opera albums, the red carry-out pagodas of the lonely dragon. The streets beyond are all on the straight and narrow conceived by tiresome minds endlessly ticking in the mahogany boxes of City Hall. Blueprints born from blue cigar smoke and bearable despair detail the hard road of the skeptic, the 13 lanes, the rage, the jaw-ripping rage. Back here, it is not so. These swaths of intimacy follow a gentler logic, as if mapped in kindergarten classrooms with crayons by the wonderkind grandchildren of preoccupied town fathers. All right, ready for the next one? <clears throat> 